Hello, everybody. <laughs> Almost all the people is uh, listening to our spec story or CSV story, I think. But uh, thank you for participating. My name is Hasumi. Uh, my talk the title will be Practical MV slash C firmware development with CLB. Uh, this is my IoT system for circuit brewery. A temperature sensor uh, connect with those boxes. The boxes send data like uh, temperature and the humidity to the server. I'm, I use MRB slash C for these devices. Uh, th these boxes are the um, prototype one. First, first prototype that I talked to last is Ruby Kai. Uh, look like very, very, very uh, handmade ones, I think. And here's Unit 2 uh, I made this year. Uh, it is a little smarter, uh, but it, uh, it's es essentially the same as the Unit 1 before. Uh, I use MRuby slash C as well. First, uh, I'll give a short explanation. What is MRB slash C? Uh, from that, I will say just MRB C because slash C is hard to say for me. Uh, what is MRB C? Uh, it's on GitHub slash MRB C slash MRB C. Uh, it's one of the MRB family. The last letter C symbolizes compact, concurrent, and the capability. It is especially dedicated to one-chip microcontroller. One-chip microcontroller is a monopackage integrated circuit. Uh, it consists of CPU, memory, uh, general purpose in, uh, I.O. pins, uh, and, but you, you can regard it as a tiny computer. This is a comparison table of MRB and MRB slash C, MRB C. MRB C is three years late behind MRB uh, version 1 in 2017. And MRB is designed for general embedded software. On the other hand, MRB C is for one chip microcontroller. And MRB assumes uh, RAM is less than 400 kilobytes or so. On the other hand, MRB C assumes the RAM is around 40 kilobyte. It is 10 times less than MRB. This diagram shows basic component stack when they run on the microcontroller. MRB and MRB C use the same byte code compiled by MRB compiler. That uh, green colors indicate that each byte codes are the same exactly the same, uh, literally the same. But the blue area is different. I'll talk about it later. Uh, this is an elementary explanation of bytecode. Bytecode is a kind of intermediate representation. Virtual machine, VM, dynamically interprets the bytecode and processes the program. Uh, the red circle, uh, Square uh, means C Ruby. The black one, your uh, Ruby script. Uh, your Ruby script uh, <coughs> will be tokenized and passed and compiled into bytecode, and then C Ruby VM executed. And lower part is MRB family. MRB and MRB C use the same uh, compiler, as I said. Uh, and the, the same process of compiling, it's MRBC. Generally, MRB requires RTOS to run when, when it's a run on microcontroller. RTOS, RTOS is a kind of operation, operating system for microcontroller. On the other hand, MRBC <coughs> uh, doesn't need any OS for multitasking because it has a own me mechanism for multitasking named RRT0, Ruby Runtime 0, I think. 
And MVC's VM is much smaller than MVC's one. Uh, that's why MVC runs on smaller RAM. Accordingly, MVC has less functionality than MRuby. But how less? For example, MVC doesn't have module, and therefore there is no kernel module. Uh, then you must wonder how can you put S? In MVC, put S is implement, implemented in object class. Here's another example. MVC doesn't have send, even, or method missing. Moreover, MVC uh, neither have your favorite features like trace point nor <laughs> refinements. <laughs> That's bad. <laughs> Joker sounds loud. <laughs> Actually, uh, MVC has only these classes. MVC VM will fail to process if you use features that MVC doesn't support, uh, even if your compilation went well. In spite of the fact, no problem in practical use of microcontroller. As far as IoT go, MVC is enough Ruby as I expect. Uh, we can fully develop firmwares with the features of MRBC, only, only the features. So, today's agenda is little more rubbish. Oh, short break. I'm from Matsue. Uh, Matsue is the holy place of Ruby and the sake, as you know. <laughs> Oh, uh, and the castle is Matsue Castle. Uh, it was built in 1611. This is not sake. <laughs> oh, uh, this is the main topic. MVC firmware is made up of three parts. One, peripheral API wrapper written in C, and two, Business logic written in MRuby. Three, infinite loop in MRuby. Uh, the leftmost things are the hardware thing stuff. Uh, at, at, as most of you are familiar with Rails, and it may be easy to understand if I say model instead of business logic and controller instead of infinite loop. Uh, these are the things make our situation difficult. Uh, peripheral API needs real hardware and the business logic needs peripheral API really work. And if it loop needs really real data from business logic. Uh, I, I know uh, you understand what I wanna say. Uh, that is hard to develop if they uh, deeply depend on each other. Uh, how to make them slackly coupled Otherwise, we will get to install every binary we built on microcontroller, even if the modification of the code is trivial. The first thing is peripheral API. Uh, we can call it um, legacy or mature technical layer. Uh, it is almost a C language world anyway. But I won't dig into this, uh, this layer today because uh, I talked about how we can write the API wrapper on Ruby Kaigi last year. Uh, that includes how can we start from a programming with Ruby and some tips of handling hardware for software programmers like you and me. Uh, and I also explained why I use microcontroller instead of a single board computer like Raspberry Pi. Uh, so please take a look at the material if you're interested in. Uh, now let me step forward. Two, next, business logic. This is another form of explanation of uh, about the three parts. Infinite loop at the uh, upper left and business logic at the right and the bottom are uh, peripheral API wrapper uh, written in C. 
an infinite loop keeps watching values like sensors, uh, switches, or BLE, or Wi-Fi, and so on, to do so. Infinite loop will hit business logic. Then business logic forces it to see function in order. At last, uh, C function works as a wrapper for peripheral library. Peripheral library should be shipped with microcontrollers framework as, uh, so we can go right way if we follow that document anyway. Uh, but what is Fuga? Uh, will calling Fuga raise error? What do you think? Yes, of course. <laughs> uh, I'm talking about methods still not implemented. Uh, we ended up, we often should write business logic without hitting peripherals uh, because it will cost a lot in some case. It is possible uh, the design of peripheral de details uh, might not be finished yet also. Uh, so what will you expect in this situation? Of course it is. Stab and mock that is test driven development for embedded Ruby. Uh, by any chance does someone have any experience for of uh, TDD for embedded Ruby? Nobody? Oh from now you can call me professor. <laughs> Oh, let's take a demo. Uh, this, uh, this is test cases of string class of MRBC. Uh, you can find many assertions. Uh, note that test, test class should Inherit, inherit the MRBC test case. Uh, I'll explain it later. And I'll run this, this test. Okay. Uh, here. Uh, first, the test tool makes test RB that the entity of the test and compiles it in, into executable binary where 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 uh, this test and executes it. So here's the result: success, 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 success. Uh, these are the test for operator and index index and the length. Uh, boundary value case, and so on, blah, 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 TR, TR method. Success, 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 start with, end with, include, uh, and finish. Oh, all test is passed and it, it, it will be green. Now, let me talk about old times. Uh, when I started to use MRBC, uh, there's no testing tool. Uh, and even, it, it, it's worse, even MRBC itself sometimes regressed. So I had difficulties though within my, uh, writing my application. But so, uh, why did I use MRBC-C? Well, you guess, Sugihara-san. <laughs> Oh. Oh. <laughs> it is destino. Uh, destino means destiny. Uh, is, is it uh, dialect of Shimano Prefecture, right? Oh. Anyway, I started to create MRBC test jam. MRBC test jam is mm, the first testing tool, uh, I think, 
for MRBC ever. Uh, I want to go rubbish in, in order to make it, but uh, MRBC doesn't have enough features to make testing tool as you saw just before. Um, so I designed it as a Ruby gem implemented in CRB instead of MRuby. And it has test unit like API, uh, you, you are familiar with. And it supports Starb and Mock. And so now you can test your business logic without implementing peripheral functions like Fuga. Uh, this is an example of Starb. The upper, upper part is your uh, business logic, uh, let's say. Uh, sample class has a method named do something, and do something method will hit still not defined method. Of course, it is not still, uh, it is not defined yet. And this is test code in, in, that inherit, uh, inherits MVC test case class. Uh, this is the stub case is the name of the test method. And uh, an unimplemented method, still not defined method, uh, can be stubbed like this. Uh, and the assertion will succeed. So uh, if it behaves like Ruby, it must be Ruby. This is Mark. Mark will test whether the method will be called or not. This. Uh, this test will uh, succeed also. Uh, it was my personal tool from outset. So Hasumiki is a MRBC test, but it is already abandoned <laughs> because now it's official. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Many thanks. Uh, MRBC test jam adopted as the testing tool for MRBC itself. So now you can safely send pull requests to MRBC, uh, Kishima-san. You can write MRBC application with confidence, Maki-san. Uh, here is uh, the diagram. Shows how MRBC test work. The gist is creating test RB, uh, the leftmost bottom part, uh, by test code generator, somewhat, I can say, uh, implemented in CRB. Uh, your application code, here, yeah, your application code and test code are transpired into test RB uh, by the tool, and then it, it will be compiled into byte code and compiled into binary and it executed. Uh, then output the result of the test. Uh, how to make the test RB I'm talking about? Uh, gathers, it gathers information of test cases by method added. Uh, I learned this technique from test unit uh, Stosa maintains. Uh, and it generates stub methods and stub, uh, mock methods. Uh, it makes only one script test RB. Only one means all the indispensable mechanism of, of assertion, stub, mock, app call, and test call get together in one script. Uh, this is the part of implementation of MRVC test. Uh, take note that the MRVC test case class. Uh, it has uh, self dot uh, method added method. Uh, thanks to the method, uh, we, we got uh, we the call, this method will call uh, when the method was uh, defined. Uh, accordingly, we can know the name of the method. Name of name of the method. Name of the method. Uh, yes, this is there, and the file path of, of the script, and the line of the method definition. And test code should inherit MRBC test case, uh, uh, as I said repeatedly. 
therefore, definition of stop case will hit method added of the parent class. Uh, <coughs> and this is uh, method missing. Uh, MVC test case class uses the method missing too. Uh, knowing stop and mock was called like this. And create double object. Uh, um, I, I won't dig into this, though. And this is uh, the generated stub. It is very normal, right? It must be uh, ret returns just. It must be Ruby. And this is a uh, template of stub, uh, the material somewhat. Uh, it is an uh, eRuby template. We, uh, it iterates um, by test cases and uh, inside it, it iterates it by stubs and write class name, make an accessor, and definition of the method, test method. And if it has a stub, uh, write return value like, like this. Okay. Oh, should break again. This is Lake Shinjuku from our city. Very beautiful, isn't it? Uh, let's go to the final part of my talk. Three, uh, infinite loop written in MRB. Uh, th this part. This is infinite loop, while true, and. Uh, we have multiple infinite loops, actually. Uh, firmware programming is essentially thread programming consists of multiple infinite loops. Uh, they keep watching states like user input, changing sensor value, and the really Wi-Fi message, then display some information to indicate internal status. Like this, all, all the loops go, in, go hand in hand together at, at the simultaneously. Now, we can create the loops like this in main C of uh, MRVC application. Uh, the threads are managed by RRT0, as, as, as you saw before, uh, at the top of the session. Uh, create task, create task, create task, and run. That's it. Very easy. Very easy to write application. And this is CRB, uh, example of creating threads. Uh, CRB threads correspond to native threads with uh, G GVL though. Threads, thread new, thread new, thread new, join. It's very easy too. Uh, I noticed that uh, it is very similar to MRVC thread, right? Create and run, new and join, quite e similar. So uh, here's another Ruby gem for debugging uh, of multitasking. Let's take a look at. This is our uh, business logic. Uh, class name is my class. Sorry, sorry for small letter. Uh, it has uh, a lot method. Only only one method it has, and this is uh, YAML for configuring stub method. And this is part of readme. Just in indicate usage H J K L for moving cursor. Uh, to set line and space bar, 
tools, uh, breakpoint. That's it. A very simple tool. Uh, now it's bad timing. Wait a minute. Okay, uh, from the start. Look at the left left column. Now it's sleep. Cursor is moving and set breakpoint. But the eleven eleventh line, the condition returns false, so we won't stop. And another breakpoint. Oh, we got debug window and get in local var is now two and the local var uh, setting 100 and exit so the condition returns true now 101 oh that's great <laughs> And uh, again, uh, let's take a, take a look at the right column. This definition, uh, stub method, name, name of the method. And my object, uh, my, my, my object is a global object uh, for this case. Uh, it, it, call, it will call stub method. Uh, that class doesn't have, but it returns. Look up. Oh, returns 87 because uh, it, it 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 is uh, evolved round 100, you know. Uh, MRBC debugger uh, runs MRBC loop script as a CV thread. It simultaneously shows which lines are being executed. Besides, it has to take over the debug print of the script, uh, as you see. Uh, in order to do that, we can use your favorite CLB features like trace point. <laughs> Uh, trace point will inform us that the method was called at the time uh, with the information like method name, uh, line number, and besides, in addition to uh, it, it, it uh, gives us binding object. We can get the context of the loop and the refinements. Uh, it, assume, it is assuming MRBC loop use put S method for print debug on serial console. Uh, MRBC debugger takes it over to print on Curses window. Uh, that, this module, debug queue, will be injected into test call uh, internally. That's why it works. And Curses. Curses is a library for terminal control. Uh, Ruby binding for Curses uh, used to be a standard library of Ruby, um, but now it is a Ruby gem. Shugo Maida-san is uh, the maintainer of the library and he'll talk about Curses this afternoon. I must check it out. And you should. Uh, he's also the creator of refinements, so great. This code shows how to use our outcomes of refinements and trace point. Debug queues uh, has a message from the loops uh, to, to take them over to shown on the curses window uh, for test method, meaning uh, the ev event queues <coughs> has information that trace point hooked. And this line uh, reversed to, to uh, indicate the, the current line. 
on the window. And binding. We can change the local variables using binding object. Transpoint, transpoint by, uh, brings us the binding object which involves context of the loop. Uh, that's why local variable could be changed as the demonstration I showed you. Uh, yeah, we have 10 minutes, so let's take a, take, take a look again. There are uh, another technique, of, of course. Uh, I, we, can, we can move the cursor while the script is sleeping. It, it, it is uh, Ruby magic, to tell the truth. Uh, if, you want, if you are interested in it, uh, please look up my code. Back to the slide. Oh, here's summary. Uh, MRBC test is the first testing tool for MRBC. It means MRBC started to have its own ecosystem. Even if Matt has test. MRBC debugger is a visualization tool of a concurrent MRBC loop tasks powered by a series thread. No matter what, much regrets. <laughs> At a glance, and developing with MRBC seems to be very restricted due to lack of dynamic features. However, it will be more effective by using the power of CRV and our own tools. Above all, Ruby's terminal-based development is fun, very fun and fun fun. Oh, it's me. My name is Hasumi. Uh, it's called me Hasumi Kin or Hasumi. Hasumi is the surname. Uh, I work for Monster Labo at the Shimane office. I love sake and soba and I love coffee. Thank you for paying attention. Thanks so much.